All right, hey everybody, it is Tony and I am back. I have five TTMs for you today, four from the baseball world and one football return. We're going to get started with one of the baseball ones first, and it comes from Mickey Lolich. This is now three signatures on the 1965 strikeout leaders card, Lolich being the third. The next will be Denny McLean. Still waiting for an address on Denny McLean as SCN says that he had moved to Florida and don't send to his Michigan address. So I will wait until I get confirmation on an address for Denny McLean. Plus he is $20 and already this has been an expensive project, but it, it's still very cool to so far get three of the four autographs on that card. And we're going to get to the next one and it comes from Hall of Famer, Denny Matthews. Broadcasting legend Denny Matthews for the Kansas City Royals. He started with the Royals in their inaugural season in 1969 and has been with the team ever since. Broadcasters, there's, you know, it's not like they make cards for broadcasters. So, you know, saving my ticket stubs. Why not? Why not send a ticket stub to Denny Matthews? Because it, it works and it's a quick and easy signature. So, very happy to get Denny Matthews back. He has called four World Series for the Royals. The Royals have won two World Series, so still pretty awesome to get a Hall of Famer back. Um, I think I'm going to wait and send to Pat Hughes for the Chicago Cubs after his Hall of Fame induction, so I'm not sure if he's adding Hall of Fame uh, 2023 on his autograph or not, so I'm just going to wait until after his induction. The next one comes from Johnny Morris. Um, I'm pretty sure Math Bowler sent me this card, but if he didn't, I'm sorry if I forgot who sent me this card. It was late last year or earlier this year that I got this card from a YouTuber, Math Bowler, or, or somebody in this world. And I was going through the cards and I had realized that, you know, I need to, uh, need to see if any of these gentlemen are still alive couple of them are, one of them doesn't sign anymore for various health reasons, and Johnny Morris does, so I immediately sent that one out and got it back relatively quickly. He was a superstar back in the 60s for the Chicago Bears winning an NFL championship, and one interesting fact that I found out about Johnny Morris, he never scored a touchdown against Green Bay Packers. So I, when I was looking up his stuff on football reference, I found that he had scored twice against the Lions in that 38-10 to win and, you know, adding a, a new note to it. But uh, very happy to get a Chicago Bears legend, Johnny Morris. We're going to get on to the next one, and it comes from Mr. Bill Sampin. So two Major League Baseball players have come out of McMurray University in Illinois. The school has closed during the pandemic, so there will be no more Major Leaguers. Mark Clark being the other major leaguer that went to McMurray, or McMurray, I don't know. Anyway, it's school's close. It doesn't matter anyway. Uh, Bill Sampin, uh, very quick autograph. As you see, seven days it took. He, he lives in Indianapolis, so very quick mail day. Uh, obviously, on that 1991 upper deck card, I had to get that one signed because it's at Wrigley Field, and it's just, it works. Um so I checked to see if he had pitched in my very first game at Wrigley Field, and he did not, uh, but it's still cool. I did mention that game, and uh, I mentioned that uh, Galarraga hit a monster shot that afternoon. So, very again, very happy to get Bill Sampin back, and you, you can't beat a, uh, a, a quick, quick return from anybody. We're going to get on to the next one, and it comes from Cubs legendary manager Tom Treblehorn. He managed one very brief season with the Cubs. It technically didn't even finish because it was a strike season, and the season ended in August before the strike started. Uh, the Cubs started the 1994 season 0-12 at Wrigley Field, and during that 0-12 start at Wrigley Field, he held a firehouse chat. There's a there's a uh, fire station right across the street from Wrigley Field. And so we went there after the game and uh, held a session for Cubs fans to ask him questions about the, the tough start So for, at, at Wrigley in 94. Uh, 
and he was very candid and honest, apparently, uh, from from that time 30 years ago, almost 30 years ago. And uh, he kind of won Cubs fans over, but he, you know, after the 1994 season was over and the 95 season began, he was he was fired and he never managed in the big leagues again. He did go on to manage in the Northwest League for five seasons in the 2000s until about 2012, I think, was when he finished up his managerial career and lives in Oregon. He did answer my question, kind of. Um, I asked him what his favorite pizza place was or if he, you know, something about Chicago pizza is what I asked him. And he said, Tony, of course I love Chicago pizza. And was, well, that really wasn't my question, but, you know, very, it's still very cool that he took the time, read the note, and said that he loves Chicago pizza because Chicago pizza is amazing. So those are my TTMs for this week. Thanks for watching, everybody. I will be back on Monday. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye.